Hi everyone, this is a uh, video to test uh, some claims that uh, some experimenters are making about uh, effects of batteries through a motor and then charging back some other batteries. So this is going to be the basic test to just find the baseline uh, power requirements to operate this motor for a set uh, amount of time, which we've got the clock there, we're going to monitor that. And what we have here is a 1800 RPM uh, 12 volt DC motor, uh, half a horsepower, and uh, it, uh, I guess, would require uh, somewhere around, uh, where is that, 39 amps, uh, probably, to deliver that half horsepower. It's just going to be turning freely. That's just a, a plate that it's on there. That, there's the rotor there, you can see that it turns. It has an optical pickup there, I can check the RPM and all that. You see the clock, and what we have is uh, two uh, 5 amp hour uh, 12 volt DC batteries that are fully charged, and they are both connected in parallel. And uh, we're going to monitor the uh, power right there through that watts meter. So both batteries are pretty well, or actually brand new, and they actually even have been conditioned. So they're uh, holding their voltage at uh, over 13.3 uh, volts. So they're definitely fully charged, and uh, we're going to start with that. And then the next test will be uh, putting these two batteries, recharging them, putting them in series, and then um, transferring the 24 volts down to two of the same batteries in parallel and uh, there's a claim that that actually gives you some uh, basically extra <laughs> uh, work so we're going to get down to the bottom of this and try to see if there is, really is something so i don't know what the results are this is my curiosity and i decide to do a video at the same time as i'm doing the test so uh, what i'll do is we'll start this up and uh, I'm going to put this on the tripod here and you're going to be looking at it from here and then uh, I'm not going to run it through because it'll be just way too long so every five minutes I'm going to give you about three or four seconds of frame so you can see what's going on with the watts meter. What I'm going to be really interested here is the total energy which is that is measured by watts hours and that's what we're going to keep as a figure and we're going to see if we can beat that and charge batteries at the same time in the next uh, test. This one is just to determine what we can do basically with these two batteries at the front end, how much power uh, and how long we can have it uh, turning. And uh, basically, I think once we get down to about the, uh, let's call it about 10 volts, I'm going to stop the test and that's where we're going to determine uh, what the uh, baseline is uh, of this motor because at 10 volts under load I would say the batteries would be pretty well uh, discharged at that point and then we'll redo the same test uh, like I say in the other configuration so take note of the time and all I need to do is to uh, put this black ground in contact with this wire right here and uh, then we can uh, start the test so I'm going to put the camera on the tripod now. Okay, everything's in the frame. Note the time. And let's start this up. Oh, I got some glare there. Okay, I think you can see that. Yeah, so it's pretty clear now. What I'll do is I will zoom in. So you can see there clearly the voltage drop on the batteries with that load. So basically we're delivering 4.2 amps to that motor for it just to turn. Uh, I like to use that motor actually because the test will be done pretty quickly. It's uh, 
you know, it's going to uh, <laughs> consume power fairly well. So we're looking at about 52 watts, close to 53 watts for that motor to turn. We're already at, we already have one digit here on our uh, watts hour. So that's good. And uh, so now I'm going to just slowly zoom out here for you to see the complete thing. So there we go. So now what I'm going to do is just give you uh, a little bit more time here and uh, I'm going to stop it pretty well when the uh, clock is at uh, 325 and then I'll start it I'll start the camera back at once it's at um, 330 and then every five minutes after that until this is run down like I said till our voltage here is at uh, 10 volts So I've always been curious about all these claims and uh, I think this is a test that will actually clear the air about that if there is some kind of an, adva of an advantage uh, to utilize these uh, special battery arrangements. And uh, I don't see why there would be, but hey, if there is, <laughs> Let's uh, let's determine uh, it with you know a, a good test like this here where we're really getting some results. So already here we're at two, and now we are pretty well at uh, 325. So now I'm going to uh, pause the camera, and we'll continue in another five minutes. Give you a few more frames of what's going on. Okay, here we are at uh, 3:30. And uh, that is the score. And as well, I forgot to take an RPM reading. This is my tachometer, so I took it. So it was at uh, basically 1845. So it's an 1800 RPM motor. And now I'm going to just take it again. And 1837 is the, uh, is the RPM reading. So now we'll just zoom in to uh, where we're at here. past the one hour mark and uh, it is reflected in the total energy used there. Uh, we're at now at 52 watts uh, hour that has been used. And the motor is uh, slowly uh, spinning down, I guess, in RPM. Take a reading there. And uh, this is what we get now. We're exactly at 1800 RPM.
Okay, so now we definitely have hit the two hour uh, mark. <clears throat> and we're about 97 watts hours used <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it at exactly 100 watts hour and uh, that should be good enough. The uh, recovery of the voltage may be oh, at best it'll go up to 12 volts so that would mean they would be fully uh, discharged and then we're going to use these batteries actually what I've decided to do to uh, receive the charge of the two other batteries that we're going to put in series. So we're going to do a 24 volt to a 12 volt potential and then we're going to actually take a last reading on the RPM of this motor and we'll stop it when we reach that same uh, low RPM. And we're going to figure out how many watts hours have gone from our two series batteries down to and then how many watts hours have been going back into these batteries to recharge them. And we'll see if there is uh, truly an advantage for that. So the next frame will be basically the 100 watts uh, hour uh, point. Okay, this has just turned to 100 watts an hour. Now I'm going to take a uh, RPM reading. We're at 1,648. So 1,648 is our um, last RPM before we uh, disconnect this. So. Now I'm going to stop it by disconnecting it. And we're going to see our voltage uh, recover on our battery here. I'll try to give you a closer view of this here. So as you see our battery will uh, recover but at best it'll be at about uh, 12 volts I would say which is basically at a point where the battery has no more uh, capacity in it or power uh, density or whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's it for this test and uh, look for the next video which is the true uh, test of these different claims of uh, putting batteries in certain configuration and uh, getting a better uh, uh, run time and charging batteries at the same time. So that's what the next video uh, was, is going to do and demonstrate if there is a value uh, in doing that kind of thing. So that's it for this video and uh, thanks for watching and look for uh, part two of this uh, video demonstration to see the uh, true results of these. Thanks.